I had a student of mine who had approached me in class, and she was a 20-year-old uh, young woman who had uh, suffered from what's called laryngeal papilloma. And she, well, laryngeal papilloma is a condition where you get uh, benign tumors that continually grow on your vocal cords. And so you're born with it. She was born with it. And so she had to go through multiple surgeries to have these benign tumors. Um, <laughs> she had these uh, benign tumors that would grow on her on her vocal folds, and you have, they recur. So you remove them, they recur, they remove them, recur. So she had about, by the time I had met her at, at 20 years old, she had had uh, close to 20 surgeries. So she was left with a, a very small airway to breathe through. So she had come up to me after class and said, you know, I, I really don't care the way my voice sounds, which was, which was pretty bad, but I, I can't breathe and talk at the same time. So I had actually started to talk to some of my colleagues who were working in respiratory physiology and said, you know, how are we going to deal with this problem? This woman has a very small airway to breathe through. And so, so what, what we ended up figuring out together was, well, she's basically breathing like she's breathing through a straw. And we need to somehow make her muscles stronger so that the effort she produces when she breathes uh, doesn't seem like it's so hard. And that's where we came up with the idea that maybe if we strengthened her breathing muscles, we would make breathing easier for her. Wouldn't change the size of that airway, but just make the task easier for her. And so that's when we started doing muscle strength training with that individual almost 15 years ago now.